Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another day of A Year in Miracles. Today we are reading A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 43. And uh, I would like to dive right into this one. I'm gonna do some um, explaining after this lesson because I'm a very visual person, and I, I think I mentioned before that I was never indoctrinated in any type of formal religion. And A Course in Miracle is, is written in a very Christian, um, uh, Christian way so that um, I think it can relate to a lot of people. But in my mind, I couldn't really understand a lot of what it was talking about. So um, I'll explain a little bit how I break this down in my mind after I read the lesson. So today, workbook lesson 43 is God is my source. I cannot see apart from him. Perception is not an attribute of God. His is the realm of knowledge. Yet he has created the Holy Spirit as the mediator between perception and knowledge. Without this link with God, perception would have, would have replaced knowledge forever in your mind. With this link with God, perception will become so changed and purified that it will lead to knowledge. That is its function as the Holy Spirit sees it. Therefore, that is its function in truth. In God, you cannot see. Perception has no function in God and does not exist. Yet in salvation, which is the undoing of what never was, perception has a mighty purpose. Made by the Son of God for an unholy purpose, it must become the means for the restoration of his holiness to his awareness. Perception has no meaning. Yet does the Holy Spirit give it meaning very close to God's. Healed perception becomes the means by which the Son of God forgives his brother and thus forgives himself. You cannot see apart from God because you cannot be apart from God. Whatever you do, you do in him because whatever you think, you think with his mind. If vision is real, and it is real to the extent to which it shares the Holy Spirit's purpose, then you cannot see apart from God. Three five-minute practice periods are required today. One as early and one as late as possible in the day. The third may be undertaken at the most convenient and suitable time that circumstances and readiness permits. At the beginning of these practice periods, repeat the idea for today to yourself with eyes open. Then glance around you for a short time, applying the idea specifically to what you see. Four or five subjects for this phase of the practice period are sufficient. You might say, for example, God is my source. I cannot see this desk apart from him. God is my source. I cannot see that picture apart from him. Although this part of the exercise should be relatively short, be sure that you select the subjects for this phase of practice indiscriminately without self-directed inclusion or exclusion. For the second and longer phase, close your eyes, repeat today's idea again, and then let whatever relevant thoughts occur to you to add to the idea in your own personal way. Thoughts such as, I see through the eyes of forgiveness. I see the world as blessed. The world can show me myself. I see my own thoughts, which are like God's. Any thought related more or less directly to today, today's idea is suitable. The thoughts need not bear any obvious relationship to the idea, but they should not be in opposition to it. If you find your mind wandering, if you begin to be aware of thoughts which are clearly out of accord with today's idea, or if you seem to be unable to think of anything, open your eyes, repeat the first phase of the exercise period, and then attempt the second phase again. Do not allow any protracted period to occur in which you become preoccupied with irrelevant thoughts. Return to the first phase of the exercise as often as necessary to prevent this. In applying today's idea in the shorter practice periods, the form may vary according to the circumstances and situations in which you find yourself during the day. When you are with someone else, for example, try to remember to tell him silently, 
God is my source. I cannot see you apart from him. This form is equally applicable to strangers as it is to those you think are closer to you. In fact, try not to make distinctions of this kind at all. Today's idea should also be applied throughout the day to various situations and events that occur, particularly to those which seem to distress you in any way. For this purpose, apply the idea in this form. God is my source. I cannot see this apart from him. If no particular subject presents itself to your awareness at the time, merely repeat the idea in its original form. Try today not to allow any long periods of time to slip by without remembering today's idea and thus remembering your function. So uh, today's idea again is God is my source. I cannot see apart from him. Hi everyone, so good to see you here. Hi Pam, yes, God is my source. Great to see you guys. Hi Cindy, good morning Francine. Oh, hi honey. Hi Pam. Uh, it's good to see all of you guys. Hey Gerardo, great to see you. Cindy, Bob, good to see you, Bob. Good morning, Colette. Oh, I'm sending love to you too. Hi Francine, yeah, I heard it's snowing up there for you guys. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, John, great to see you, amen. Hi John, bunch of, bunch of people here with the same name this morning. It's great to see all of you here. Good morning, Carrie. Hi Felix. Oh, hi my sissy. My sissy is watching from Raleigh, North Carolina. Good morning, Joe. Hi, Angelica. Great to see all of you. Hey, Mauro. So what I was going to talk about um, is, again, um, some of these words that uh, may be familiar with you. Um, and they also might have meanings that uh, were ascribed to them in a way that were part of your early conditioning. For me, I, I really didn't have religion in any formal sense as part of my early conditioning other than what I felt was, you know, really outside of me and, and something that I didn't belong to at all. So when I started reading Course in Miracles and seeing words like God and Holy Spirit, I thought, holy cow, you know, this is just not anything I'm interested in. But as I came to read the book, I, ran, I read the manual for teachers first and I thought, oh my gosh, there's such good information in here. I, I really have to go back and start reading this text and figure out what this is all about. So I'm a visual person. So when I, as I've been doing the course for over 25 years now, this is what my vision looks like. God is one mind and we're all a part of that one mind. And we are God and we are the oneness in which we are all created. The Holy Spirit is like umbilical cords that are kind of coming off of that one mind and connecting to us in our separated self that we're experiencing this world um, and this illusion of this, this world, so to speak, through this umbilical cord called the Holy Spirit that connects us always to the one mind of God. So in essence, we're still part of that one mind of God. We've just forgotten and we're kind of attached by this umbilical cord called the Holy Spirit. So that is our connection to the one mind and the connection to the healed perception. So anytime you see in A Course in Miracles, the words with the capitals, that's when we are connected and remember and are, are remembering that we are still part of that one mind and that we've never left that one mind. When you see the lowercase um, letters, that's when we are in our separated state of uh, being alone in our ego mind where we think we are not connected with God as our source. So I uh, hope that helps a little bit. And uh, that's what we talk about when we dive deeper in the lessons when we go into the private Facebook group. So anyone who is interested in diving deeper and you want to join us over there, feel free to, uh, to join us in that group. I know there's a couple of links out there, but I can post it again. And thank you again for, for joining this morning. Good morning, Nami. Good to see you. Hi, Kevin. Great to see all of you this morning. So today's lesson is God is my source. I cannot see apart from him. Have a great day today and enjoy whatever you're doing. And I will see you again tomorrow morning with our next lesson in the Course of Miracles. Have a great day. Thanks everyone. Bye.